Hello everyone and welcome to 555 Barbershop, your home for comprehensive tutorials on barbering. In this video, I'm showing you how to create a classic flat top, a haircut that in some places has gone by the wayside, but people still get them and personally, I kind of like doing them, so I decided to make a tutorial. Now I've saved the best for last, so please make sure you watch this video all the way through until the end. Now. You guys know that I always welcome your likes and your comments. It'll help this video gain more exposure so others can also watch it and learn. Before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button on the bottom right of your screen so you don't miss any new tutorials. Now, let's get to it. Let us begin. Okay guys, the very first thing I'm gonna do here is establish a guideline. I like to start my flat top fades with a guideline about an inch above the ear. It's important for me to add that this is a straight fade, so I'm not gonna be going below the occipital bone. I'm just gonna go straight around, straight across. For this exercise, I am using the 380 ACP by Caliber. I attached the zero detachable blade, extended it all the way out so that it measures out to a number one. I attach a number 6 guard to my fading clipper, close the blade all the way, and proceed to establish the top. For this exercise, I'm using the original 44 Magnum by Caliber. Next I attach the number 3 guard, close the blade all the way, and go straight up. Next I attach the number 2 guard, close the blade all the way, and repeat the same step. Notice how I'm using part of the parietal ridge for most of my blending throughout this haircut. Working in this manner allows me to skip guards and get the work done quicker. Next, I attach the number one guard, close the blade entirely, and repeat the same steps. Finally, I attach the half guard, but this time I fully extend the blade. Now I'm going to take my time blending out this line because this is the clip that ties it all together. I know that by the time the lever is close to midway, the line should have been erased. For 
this part you'll need a big fat comb like this and a clipper like this. Make sure you close your clipper all the way, place the comb on top of the head, level it out and begin cutting over the comb, clipper over comb that is, just like this and work your way back. Make sure you keep that comb nice and level. Notice how I'm also grabbing hair from the parietal ridge. You'll need to grab some of that hair in order to achieve the maximum flatness. Standing behind and alongside the client will help you achieve an even finish. Here's the same exercise from a different angle. I really want you guys to pay attention to the way that I'm holding this comb. Once the comb is level, I run the machine over the top of the comb. Whatever hair is coming out of the top of that comb, I cut. To finish it off, I use the freehand technique. This requires a very steady hand. In fact, sometimes I use both hands to do this exercise, just to keep the machine steady. In case I missed a spot, I always have my comb in my other hand. Next, I create my C-cups and sideburns. When I'm finished with that, I begin forming the neckline. straight razor is then used to clean up the edges. Always remember, you want to allow the razor to do the work, not you. You do not press, you do not dig, you do not scrape. You just hold the razor and allow it to cut through the hair. finishing detail can be added to the front of the flat top using your scissors. If your flat top looks like this or better, you have done well. Thank you for watching this tutorial and remember to keep practicing. The clippers and trimmers in this video have all been provided by Caliber. To find them, visit CaliberProCorp.com and use my discount code 555.